I want to review some properties of expected value, starting with the expected value of a constant. The expected value of a constant is just the, the constant. It equals whatever um, that number is. So, um, you know, suppose, for example, uh, you have the expected value of the number 3. This would just equal 3. Okay, so there's no random variable. It's just um, a number there. Okay, so A represents some number on the real number line. Okay, um, how do we show that this is true? Well, first let's just remember um, what is expected value. Okay, um, usually you have a random variable there, and uh, the expected value of that random variable, if the random variable is discrete, it would be the sum over all uh, the values of that x value of the x times um, the probability mass function of that x. Okay, um, in the discrete world, if it's continuous, if the random variable is continuous, you just take the derivative over whatever um, the support is for that random variable, x times the um, probability density function of, of x dx. So you would integrate over. So either you sum over or you integrate over, depending on if it's discrete or continuous, right? But this is what, um, by definition, this is what expected value is. So now if I have the expected value of A, so as opposed to having X, I'm not trying to find the, the expected value of X, but now I'm trying to find the expected value of A. Um, in the discrete world, this would be the sum over all values of X times um, A times the probability uh, density function or probability mass function of X. Um, and then since this constant doesn't depend on X, it can be basically pulled out of the sum. And by definition of a probability mass function, we know that if you sum the probability mass function over um, x, you should get 1, right? That's um, a definition, by definition, of probability mass functions, okay? So basically, this equals a. So you've shown that the probability or the um, expected value of A is A, if X is discrete. If X is continuous, we can show the exact same thing. We'd integrate over um, X, A times the probability uh, density function, DX. You can pull A out because it doesn't depend on X. Okay, um, and then once again, by definition of probability, um, Density functions, this equals 1, okay, and then you get A. So the expected value of a constant is just itself, and this is the proof for how you get there.